Hi, I'm Tammy Chesser, and this is Stephanie Brigier. I am going to speak about basic diabetes today. I'm a registered nurse and a care coordinator at the Quality Alliance at the Cleveland Clinic. I've been a nurse for 23 years, and my role as a care coordinator is to, well, part of the role is to help um, patients teach patients about diabetes. Um, there are two types of diabetes. One type is when the body does not make insulin, and the other type is when it doesn't make enough insulin. Type 1, this, which is um, the insulin-dependent type, usually occurs at the age, under the age of 30, and can still develop at any age. For this type, your, the body type is normally thin or normal weight. Symptoms have a rapid onset and may include increased urination, thirst, hunger, weight loss, and sometimes blurred vision. And again, in this type of diabetes, insulin is necessary for life. In type two, that usually occurs in the age of 40, um, but it's increasingly younger due to um, child obesity. 80 to 90% of these children are overweight. Thanks, Stephanie. <laughs> Unlike type 1, these symptoms have a slow onset, but the symptoms are the same as type 2. Treatment is healthy eating, physical activity, oral, non-insulin injectable medicines, and insulin. Oops. The pancreas is what releases the insulin. The insulin helps the body use the sugar for energy. The glucose in the body comes from both food and your own body's stored glucose. The insulin is like a key that opens the doors of the cells of your body. There's a picture right there. Once the insulin opens the cell doors, the sugar can leave the bloodstream and move into the cells where it can use it for energy. So without the insulin, the sugar gets into the cells instead and builds up in the bloodstream. Signs and symptoms of hyper and hypoglycemia. So a low blood sugar, hypoglycemia is less than 70. <coughs> Signs and symptoms can be sleepiness, shaky, sweating, dizziness and hunger. And some of you may, um, uh, when you get hungry, have some of these uh, symptoms. And that can be due to um, not too, many, too much medication, not eating, and increased activity than normal, and not eating enough carbohydrates. Hyperglycemia is greater than 150, and that could be due to um, skip, I'm sorry, too many carbohydrates, less acti activity than normal, illness, surgery, stress. Um, when measuring the blood sugar normally, for example, you use a glucometer and the, um, the, on the screen, and that represents uh, the results, but the physician decides what the best range is or an acceptable result. So this is a, the true Bible of uh, blood sugars. The long-term measurement is an A1C, and that measures the average over a three to six month period. And again, the treating provider should set the specific um, target ranges.